Hey, this is Mike with Tactical Wood Gas, and I'm going to talk today about how the system works, kind of a theory of operation. Um, this is the reactor part of the gas car. Um, this is the place where you, you load the wood in the, in the top, in the hopper of the reactor. And I've got a video that describes that. Um, what you need to do is pull the lid off. The lid is only for uh, protecting it from the weather and from, for shutting it down when you're done uh, doing a run. So set aside the lid. You uh, uh, load it up per the video on, on how to, to load it up. And then what we do is we uh, come over to the ignition port and we unscrew this and stick a, a lit propane torch in there until we start to see smoke coming out of the top. And it you know can take a, a minute or two, depending on your fuel, uh, to see a little bit of smoke coming out of there. At that point, put the lid back on the ignition port come over to the test port. This is where you're testing your gas. Open that up all the way, uh, counterclockwise, and stick the fan on. So what we want to do, we've set this up so that uh, you've set it up so the air comes in this end and comes out this end. Um, and what you do is you, you place this on the top and that will pull air through the system, past the fire, and it'll be like a little blow uh, a blowtorch kind of a, um, a, a furnace. It'll, it'll put a lot of air in there, the fire will get big, and when you see the smoke here go from thin smoke to just a kind of billowing cloud smoke, uh, thicker smoke, then you know that uh, your, your fire is big enough to get things started. So at that point, you flip it over so that you're pushing air down through the system. And you've got the, the wood on fire, the air is being pushed down past it. The heat of the flames is cooking the wood above it. Now initially, it's just burning and creating smoke, but as, as the heat of that fire grows um, to the point that it's burning all the oxygen, uh, the heat of that fire has gotten as big as it can because it's, it's using all the oxygen. But the wood above it is being cooked by the fire, and that's what releases, cooks out the hydrogen, methane, CO gases that you need to run your engine. So that gets pushed down and burned through the fire um, and out the exit port of the gas fire. Comes across into the input of the cooler. Now the cooler is full of water and as it goes through a heat exchanger on the inside, it, the, the gas doesn't actually touch uh, the water. It just uh, goes through the metal container and out the exit and the heat is released into the water through the metal walls. Um, and then the this it'll be smoke at this point. It comes down uh, and exit here. So you'll see smoke coming out of here. And if you uh, put a torch to it, initially it won't light. And about well, seven, ten minutes into it, um, you'll be able to put a torch on there and you'll see that, that the smoke here gets, it, it stays lit. Yeah. And that's a point at which the okay. gasification is running. And if, if it's if it's really dry wood to start with, you may be able to light it in as little as six minutes. If you're relighting the system where you burn just part of the wood, it'll literally gasify in as little as two to two and a half minutes where it will actually stay lit. So if you're reburning some of the wood that's in there, you don't need to wait seven or eight or nine minutes to try lighting it. I would start after two or three minutes to get it to burn. And when it burns and self-sustains, it's gasifying. Okay, so, and that, that's the point at which you shut off completely the valve to the test port and your fire will go out. And then over on the, the hose that heads over towards your uh, generator, there's a valve and we'll show you that in a different video. You open up that valve and it's pushing gas through. So what you want to do is leave it until uh, you see, you know, two minutes, three minutes maybe. Um, you'll see the the gas come through and it'll actually be coming out of the the air inlet on the engine. Um, and what you what that the purpose of that is is your filter is full of air. You've got to get rid of the air and fill it full of gas, purge it out until you've cleared it all out. Um, and once you've got that going, then you can go and start your engine. So the uh, the cooler removes the tar. It uh, it runs downhill and in, into the glass jar, um, and that'll fill full of black tar liquid. Uh, the filter media will remove the particles, and what's coming out of the top here is gas ready to mix 50-50 with oxygen to run your engine. 
and we've had some questions on what octane and such. It's not liquid gasoline, it's hydrogen, methane, CO gases, so air gases, not uh, liquid gases.